Bonjour, je m'appelle Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the mass percents of sodium nitrate and oxygen in sodium nitrate. First thing we got to do is find the mass, have a nice little table to help us out with that, and then we can find those percents easy peasy. Bam, so the first step is we're going to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, nitrogen, oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts help us out. So if you don't see a subscript at the bottom of the element, simply write in a one. So sodium, we have one atom, nitrogen is one, and oxygen is three. So we're then going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So sodium's mass is 22.99, nitrogen is 14.01, and the oxygen is 16. So that's what we're going to write down, 22.99 for sodium. Uh, nitrogen was 14.01, that looks like a nine. 14.01, and then oxygen was 16. And then we're simply going to multiply the row and across to find the total mass of the element. So the total mass of sodium here in the compound is 22.99. Total mass of the nitrogen is 14.01. And then the total mass of the oxygen is 48. Then to find the total mass of the entire thing, just simply add this column on up. And the total mass here works out to be 85. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the entire compound. That was the first step of the process here. Now I'm going to add a column to the table to find those percents. Watch how fast this is. Bam, so to find the mass percent of sodium, we're gonna take the total mass of the sodium here, 22.99, divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, 85.00, and then simply multiply that by 100. Don't worry about the units because they're gonna cancel. Percents are unit less, so 56.47%. And that's because whatever percent you have on the in the numerator will be the same as the denominator, so they will cancel. So now for nitrogen here, we're gonna take the total mass of the nitrogen divided by the total mass of the entire compound, so we're only looking at this column now, and that's going to be equal to uh, roughly 16.48%. All right, and then last but not least, we got oxygen, so we're going to take the 48 divided by the 85. All right, careful with the sig figs. I don't put in the zeros because it doesn't affect the calculation, but in the end, you want to have the right number of significant figures there. We have videos on that if you want to take a look at our channel to help you out. As a simple check, you can add this together, and it should equal 100%, and that's what I want for you on your next test. All right? Remember, hard work, practice, dedication, you can get there, all right? Just keep working. And we'd love to help you, by the way. Uh, we got thousands of solve solutions out there in different subjects, mathematics, physics, chemistry, and we got a lot more coming. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to, if this helped you out at all, check out our channel. We'd love to help you more. Take care.